Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays This War of Mine. We're on day 17, making progress. I've heard that the game sort of ends somewhat dynamically between days 40 and 50, so we got a long way to go yet. I want to tackle two things right off the bat here, because the last uh, This War of Mine episodes, episodes were tackled uh, in a batch, recorded in a batch, and I put them up and I was like, man, holy crap. People are really going crazy in the comments, which in some ways is good, because it means people are invested in the series. But could you please do me a favor and recognize that my actions in this war of mine, um, we have basically no food today. Um, I'm just going to get people going here while I go on what is sure to be a rant. Um, but um, my actions in this war of mine are not indicative of my endorsements in real life. I don't actually rob the elderly, uh, believe it or not. I've never murdered somebody. I know it might be hard to believe. Uh, but, you know, they, it particularly came up with that uncomfortable situation a couple episodes ago with that young girl in the coerced situation inside of the supermarket. I don't endorse what was happening there, but I am playing this as somebody who's mostly concerned about his own survival, and, you know, I did what I thought my character would do, and I, people were like, oh, you can just push him down the stairs, don't you know that? No, because not all of us read freaking, you know, Brady Games strategy guides. That dude has a gun, right? I'm just playing this as if, uh... I'm playing it as if I would uh, play it in real life, you know, or as if, you know, maybe not what I would do in real life, but if my character was really that afraid, that's what I would, you know, would expect them to do, is maybe just worry about their own survival. Unfortunately, I'm not saying it's a good thing. And let's see if we can maybe make some moonshine here. How much water do we have? Did we lose all our water? No, we have tons. Alright, so let's make moonshine right away, and maybe um, some water filters as well. Do we have any water filters in our inventory right now? No. Okay, so let's, before we do that, let's make some water filters. Hey, you, we can right-click to have you run, I remember now. Um, the other thing is, also, I, you know, if you're leaving comments about what I should do, that's okay, especially if it's done in a civil fashion, but I really dislike seeing comments that are like, hey, you fucking idiot, don't you know, blah blah blah, here's how you min-max the game. Why, don't, why even play the game? Why don't you just go make a grocery list and buy the groceries, right? Accomplishing things, you know, it's it's fine. But at the same time, I want to play this as if I'm actually in this atmosphere, you know? It's like the, the whole point of this game, at least the thing that makes it a little bit more of a um, an interesting survival strategy game, is the atmosphere. So I don't want to just min-max it and be like, oh, you know, well, I've got a fortress now. I actually want to play it and enjoy it for myself. Now, the vast majority of people have been very kind, very civil, and above all, very mature in realizing that just because occasionally I'm a monster in the game doesn't mean I'm a monster in real life. Everybody else, um, be, be smart, please. Thank you. All right. Now, that's not to say if you have dissenting opinions that I think you're dumb. I, didn't, I don't mean it like that. Don't phrase it like that. That's just purporting my, or twisting my words to be self-serving for your own purposes for whatever reason. Let me see if I have some timber here. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's continue. I don't have timber. I don't have books. I wonder if I could burn this other guitar part uh, for some extra... For some extra fuel. So let's have Bruno run down here. And uh, let's have... Katya. Oh no, we just have a bunch of fuel in our inventory, right? Yeah, we do. So we can have um, Bruno light some fuel here to make our lives a little better. Yeah, get a little warmer in here. Alright, Katya. Let's see what this guy's got for trade. We've got some moonshine. We desperately need food. So let's put all the food that he's got on here. Um, so it'll be this. I wouldn't mind getting the vegetable as well. How much moonshine would I need you to give you to make this work? Three moonshine. How about coffee on top of that? All of my coffee. Could we just kill him? <laughs> Not saying that's what we should do. I'm just seeing if we could. Well, to feed everybody today, we could get rid of one can. Um, what if instead, because the moonshine's very valuable for us when we go to the market to trade. What if we traded some stuff that we don't need? Like, for example, one little bit of medicine, and then maybe some coffee on top of that. What about um, one medicine, and then some moonshine on top of that? Acceptable. What else could we get out of it? Uh, maybe not the canned food. We can get some more coffee for ourselves, though. I would like to get like a little timber. But put, man, he really does not want coffee. I'm assuming because he has has coffee of his own, he doesn't want to give us, or he doesn't want to. Uh, Take coffee from us. I guess we'll be content with this. We'll get coffee that we can trade, even though there's a, not a coffee shortage anymore. I think this is okay. And uh, we get food, which we desperately need. 
Sweet, uh, we'll close the door for now. I'll tell you what, we might be back later. For now, I'm gonna have Katya uh, go over here and play the guitar. Bruno, uh, you're gonna start doing some cooking, my friend. Now, this is really good for us. We can make two meals easily. It is gonna take a little extra fuel, but it'll also make two meals, which is pretty important. And then we will have you consume it quickly. By the way, I also want to point out in my own defense here, in my play of this war of mine, a lot of people have been saying, man, you're playing really stupidly. I've been watching, I don't disagree with that necessarily, by the way, but I also think, you know, you kind of should play stupidly the first time if you want to really experience what it's like here. I mean, these people are not survival experts. Um, but in any case, uh, I've been watching other people play the game, and there, there are some people who are genuinely, or genuinely really, really good at this. So when they play this, they're just better than I am, and that's fine. Um, but I've also been watching other people play the game, and they've been, like, losing people, they've been dying, Mathis, Kate, even, uh, like, Enter Elysium, who I've been watching a little bit, uh, in my, in my free time. Let's see if we can make another meal here. They've all lost people. I think I've done a pretty okay job of surviving. Now, maybe I have not, uh, thrived, as some people have, but I, I think I'm doing an alright job just keeping my, my shit together. So Pavel's gonna eat this meal. Katya... I forgot that we had two rainwater stills. I must have built that close to the end of the last episode. So let's get more water going on the fly here. And Bruno will have you make uh, this. And then we'll think about what we're going to do tomorrow. Or what we're going to scavenge for tonight. Because, oh, as of right now, we have some moonshine available. Go pick that up. And Katya's done with the filters. Um, Pavo will have you come eat this meal. And uh, let's, let's come up with what we want to build for tomorrow. One thing we might want to build... Can we make more moonshine, by the way? What are we missing? Sugar and fuel. Okay. Well, we can make some fuel out of timber. Does this guy have sugar to trade for? Because that can be a little bit of it in short supply. Let's have uh, Katya do it. Um, yeah, if we can get some sugar, that would be awesome. So I'm just going to put sugar on my list, because that's kind of like the whole part of our trading economy here is the moonshine. If we can't do anything with that, that's bad. Uh, no sugar. <clears throat> We're gonna need food for tomorrow, so I would like to get that can. And... Well, let's see, let's put one bottle of moonshine up here. Two bottles of moonsh moonshine for one can of food is not acceptable. Um, could we get like a bunch of cigarettes for it? Like, it seems like we should pretty much take trade things we do have for things we don't have. One moonshine for six cigarettes? This will at least make uh, Bruno a little happier. There you go, five cigarettes and some fuel. Um, so we're gonna need sugar tonight, that's fine. Um, is any Everyone's like perfectly fine here. This is something I don't see in a lot of people's Let's Plays of this war of mine, is people that are like, like actually day 17 and all surviving and thriving relatively well. Um, so we're gonna need sugar tonight. Are we gonna trade? That's the other thing. Um, let's have uh, Bruno. Take a look here. What do we want to build? Probably a hatchet. If you make a hatchet, you can use timber, or you can get timber from your own place, I think. So let's build this tonight. Uh, and then, let's take Pavel, and we'll have a look. We might want to make like an herbal garden or something like that. So let's just choose something here and go with it. Herbal garden. We can grow herbs to make medication or cheap cigarettes. We can improve it to grow vegetables. Or we can start making traps. And then if we made if we make traps, we need fertilizer as well. Um, trying to think. Let's go for herbal garden to start with. Herbal workshop. What'll that do? It'll make bandages, low quality roll ups. Well, basically we just need an f ton of components. So I'll write it down here. Components and a bunch of timber and uh, parts are a good idea. So I think what we're gonna do is have and and sugar. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is have a uh, katcha. And it fertilizer if we can get it, probably. Fert. Do we have herbs in our stock right now? I think you need a vegetable to start a vegetable garden, so I'm assuming you need herbs to start an herb garden. We don't have any herbs, I think. So Kai is up here. Let's have her trade something for herbs. Um, maybe a cigarette? All right, uh, I'll, I'll trade you. Here's the thing, I don't want to give you a bottle of moonshine for herbs, but I might have to. I don't really want to give you our other medicine. What about one bandage? One bandage is too generous. Okay, one bandage for one can and six herbs. I kind of kind of like it. 
We probably don't need six herbs. I bet we can do this a lot cheaper. Um, let's let's get three herbs, and then we can probably trade a lot less for it. Um, so he really does not want coffee. Thought maybe a broken guitar part would be enough. I don't want to give moonshine because that's like our ideal, our ideal um, option for tomorrow, or sorry for tonight for trading. It's because of the can, isn't it? Okay, you know what? There you go, one bandage, and throw some herbs back on there. Okay, I find this acceptable. So I think we're gonna end the day. Oh, we should wait until the hatchet's built. Then we're gonna end the day, and Katya's gonna go scavenge at the market. Assuming the market is still scavengeable. Um, so, end day. Components, timber, parts. What is this? Oh, fert fertilizer. It looked like feet, and I was like, I don't think we're gonna get many of those unless we do some unsavory things. And sugar. Sugar's a big one as well, so that we can keep trading. Central Square. Used to be beautiful with parks, squares, and monuments. The war has taken its toll on the area, but there's a marketplace. We might be able to get the stuff we need, provided we have something to trade. Katya, scavenge. Um... I think we should have uh, Roman guard, and I think we should have Pavel guard, and I think we should have Bruno sleep in the bed. More guards is better, I think. And she's gonna take the cigarettes, the coffee, and the moonshine. This is gonna, I think our inventory is gonna fill up too fast. Ah, we still have seven spaces. Each bottle of moonshine that we trade away is another stock, so. Note, doubled the watch. Hey, this is, I got an achievement there. You didn't see it, but I got an achievement there for uh, for being a clever dude, maybe, and having two people on watch instead of one, so that hopefully we don't get robbed as much. All right, what do you got for trade? This is you're the you're my parts and components expert here. Wow. Um, one bottle of moonshine. How many parts? That's ridiculous. How many components? This is insane. That fills up our inventory right there. Um, let's let's say not interested for now because we need at least one spot for sugar. What do you have? What are you What are you selling here? Um, just alcohol and rolling papers. Roll up cigarette quality. Oh no. I thought that was the paper for it. Okay, not interested for now. Where's our, this is our medical supplies. Where's our food supplies? Right here. Sugar, sugar. Okay, you do have three sugar. Will you take one moonshine for it? So this is a, a deal that's like not very good for us. But it also makes our inventory better. Because I could take like, I, I mean I might as well take the raw food as well. But this doesn't help our inventory system out at all. But at least it gives us more sugar to make more moonshine tomorrow. And then, um, fertilizer. Fertilizer might come from the food area? I don't We might not even need fertilizer, but... That's not food, that's, uh, medicine. I, th we might not need fertilizer for an herb garden, but... I thought it was worth trying anyway. Alright, they don't have it. Um... Well, I guess we'll just... Fill up our inventory with parts, then. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually, I did take too much. We throw a bottle of moonshine on here. You'll give me the eight parts I want. So we, what do we have in our inventory right now? Five things. So we could take, with one bottle of moonshine, we can take seven things. We have a decent amount of timber, so then we take three stacks of these. Uh, not, we can't take that much. I think that's as good as we can do, honestly. So, the only other thing we could do is trade our bottle of moonshine for a stack of something else. But what do we really want to trade a bottle of moonshine for stack-wise? Four components? I don't think that's a very good deal. I think we should just go. But again, I, as much as I might sound uh, not happy about this, I'm very, very happy about this. This is a good haul for us. I don't know if we have quite enough to make an herbal garden, but I think we're pretty close. 
we saved some of our better bartering ingredients as well. Nobody got raided. This is fantastic. And we got new bio updates. The city used to welcome everyone with open arms. I loved the old town cafes where I could meet new friends from all over the world. Will people ever become this easygoing again? If we make it through, I must do what I can to help them remember how it was. Because we can accomplish a lot if we stand together. Alright, everyone's hungry. That's not unexpected. Uh, Pavel, you're right there, right? Why don't you just eat that can? Bruno, you're hungry as well. Maybe don't shop up the bed for timber, though. Pavel is tired, too, right? Yeah. Pavel, take a sleep, buddy. Bruno, you are gonna start making some delicious food for these people. Throw a little bit of timber on? Look, I'll be straight with you. I don't love using timber for this because, uh... It does put us in a position where um, we might not be able to make our herbal workshop. We only have enough to make one more bottle, or it'll be two bottles of moonshine, yeah. We only have enough to make two more bottles of moonshine here. Why can't you make two meals? You need two fuel? Oh, buddy. That's my bad on that one. Because we used one fuel to make the, right. We used one fuel to make the uh, moonshine here. Alright, Kaya. You don't need to sleep yet. Uh, Bruno, you're gonna make two meals here. Roman, is there anything you can chop up that I don't need? Oh, yeah! Oh, it's so awesome! Okay. I, this is... Thank you to everyone who yelled at me. For real this time, not in a sarcastic way. For telling me that I can use a hatchet to chop shit up for free timber. That's genius. People are staying well fed every day here. Now, the free timber won't last forever. Uh, Kaya, before you sleep, you should have a little meal here. Uh, Roman, thank you. How much timber do we get out of that? Hopefully a ton. Eight and four fuel. Oh my god. That's amazing. Uh, you should also get ready to eat a meal. So I'm gonna have you, like, rush down here. And Bruno, you're just gonna make one more meal. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing water. Okay, so we do, um, let, let's come down here and Bruno, you're gonna make a, uh, our herbal, oh, I was gonna make a garden. We're missing a lot. Workshop can make... Uh, can make a trap. Hmm, I'm trying to think of what... We need a little bit more to make basically what I, I wanted to make. So, I, But I do want to go with an herbal garden instead because I want to be able to grow vegetables. Uh, even though an herbal workshop might be useful. So 12 and 16 more of those. Um, okay, okay, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Make some water filters. We'll only make two of them, because that's all we can deal with today. But we, we need water, otherwise we can't cook food for, for Roman to eat. And Kaya's probably going to be able to trade today again. So Kaya, you're going to, um, before you go to sleep, please install this rainwater filter, and... Yes, thank you. Same to you, uh... Roman, you're gonna come down here and get ready to install this. I think we're just gonna go back to the market again tomorrow and we're settling into a routine, but I don't necessarily think a routine is a bad thing here. Uh, Kaya, sleep please. And Bruno, uh, Ru Roman, um, rainwater collector. Oh, we only get one bottle of moonshine from this. Okay, that's fine. This will give us enough clean water. Who else is tired here? Roman is tired. Roman, after you install that, you can go sleep. And, uh, we'll have water eventually. So for now, Bruno, I think you should just go collect the moonshine and then play the guitar. And Pavel, I'm gonna have you start chopping up furniture for free here. This is gonna be some sweet lumber that will help us out a lot. I didn't realize how important a, a hatchet would actually be to ourselves here. To our, uh, to our chances. So the water will just automatically enter our inventory when it's ready. So we're gonna follow Pavel here in Pavel's adventures of, of scavenging for timber. Amongst the detritus of his own house. So we uh, should never have to use anything, well at least soon, we should never have to use um, anything but the fuel that we get from chopping this stuff up. Which is great. That'll allow us to cook very easily, you know, perform quote-unquote chemical reactions easily, like uh, the reaction of fermentation, for example. And before the end of the day, we'll make sure to take a look and uh, 
see what we need to get going on here in terms of our grocery list. Hey, Kate. You can chop what? If you get a hatchet, you can chop up the furniture in your house for free timber and fuel. So, I mean, you, you don't want to chop up your beds, probably. But you get free wood from all the stuff that you looted earlier on. Pretty useful tip, huh? I need to do that. I think... Oh, it's not broke. Why can't I break this? Maybe that's made out of stone or something. Um, yeah, it seems pretty useful. Uh, I always find myself at a shortage of wood. <laughs> and uh, here we are. It's a little better now. Now, I, plus, I can keep my stove going, you know? 14 Celsius, I realize. It's not that cold, but it's nice to keep the place a little bit warmer than that, if it's at all possible. And look at this, day, day 18. Everybody's happy, basically. Hungry, tired. Oh, he's a little hungry. Okay. So what? Apparently, Pavel sucks. Pavel's a fast runner, and he's not afraid of anything in this world. Did you know also you could right click to get people to run? Or you can double click. All right. Well, you are a little smarter than I am then. But I think it's it's going pretty well. I've almost settled into a routine. It's kind of like our life, you know. We work during the day. Our uh, life. And well, in in a way. And then at night we go grocery shopping. I hope there are not three big holes. You didn't even close that hole. I don't. What do I need to close that hole for? You need to close all the holes, man. Keep it warm. Specifically, she's talking about this one over here. We should probably board that. Where's up. the second one? Did you did you do the second no, one? No, I did this one only. First one? Yeah. Second one's way up there. Right there. This one? Oh, this one. Oh, okay. So we need to board up three things. Now you distracted me, lady. I need to do like a quick grocery list here. Oh my god, now I can't see how many parts I need for tonight. Oh god, god dang it. Okay. Well you're gonna guard. You're gonna guard, you're gonna sleep. And we're going back to Central Square here. And we're gonna send her with both bottles of moonshine and what do we need sugar if we can get it um other than that we just want to max out on like components timber maybe not timber Compo components will be like secondary or sorry timber will be secondary components definitely we need like five or six stacks of it um i don't know if we need parts i think we're fine for parts but maybe that's extra fertilizer i don't think we're going to be able, be able to get so i'm going to write it down here number one components lots of them uh, then parts, then sugar, and that, that's probably good. So we're going to take two bottles of moonshine. That's enough to get components out the ass. Uh, whether or not we'll be able to get sugar with that, maybe not. But let's try. At least, at least it saves some inventory space for us. And I really, like, I know that people are going to be like, oh, you should go scavenge again, you should go scavenge again. But I like the setup that we've got going on here. I think, like, we have a pretty good chance of survival and I don't really feel like we're scumming it up because we're still gonna get robbed all the time uh... okay well he doesn't have is this a broken pistol? we actually needed that but I think because we made a hatchet we don't have the gun parts nece necessary to do this anymore but anyway um... I think maybe we'll take like twenty four of these <laughs> and... I mean this guy's got some kind of chemical dependency, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think we need the part. I don't I don't want to trade this for one part. Maybe I'll even throw in two timber here. We can maybe deal the broken pistol or something. It saves us a night of scavenging. So our inventory's almost full already. We're gonna try to trade the other bottle of moonshine for as much sugar or as much food as we can possibly get. Sugar in particular, because we are oh, we should talk to this guy just to see if we uh our, if he has sugar for sale, which he doesn't. Um, but if we can get some sugar, that's going to allow us to continue to barter in the future, which is useful. One sugar, one canned food. If I do this, will I be able to hold it? Probably not with that, huh? Well, Oh, that didn't. I could have taken that. That's my bad. Uh, whatever. I still think this is pretty good. Let's run to the exit. We have nothing else to trade, right? Yeah. All right. I I, mean, I realized that this was a relatively short night here, but I think this is good. I just want to see if we're able to build this herbal garden that we've been uh, so interested in. And if we are, I'm feeling pretty groovy about that. I just say groovy. Allow me to gag into my own mouth, which is really where you do it for the most part. 
It's where your mum does it anyway. Note, a bit of indulgence. I just got another achievement unlocked. You can't see it for some reason. Some games show it, some games don't. Um, but I don't know. It's another achievement for us. We got raided. They didn't take anything. They were tough and mean, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were armed. None of us was wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. What's really unfortunate is that that's going to change uh, when we reload into the game. Oh, we won't be reloading, because I'm just going to record another episode. So we can make our herbal garden. Barely. But that's good nonetheless. In any case, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There will be episodes coming with more regularity. Again, what I do in this game is not necessarily what I endorse doing in real life. Okay? Use your heads. Don't be silly. Those of you giving civil feedback, I love you. You make what I do fun along with the whole playing video games and cracking jokes about it part. Everybody else, be civil, all right? Min-max your games, min-max your life. Be a nice person. You'll do better. Anyway. Sorry to sound like such a big baby. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.